I think this live session finally is a project that is really true to myself and true to the artist I want to be. Um, the other day, my old vocal teacher saw me play live and afterwards she came up to me and it was really cute. She said like, Jojo, you're a rock girly. You need to make rock music. And I feel like she's right. Um, I feel really comfortable and confident in the music I'm making at the moment. And I just love playing live. I love seeing people in the audience smile, being happy, dancing, <laughs> singing along. Um, it's really the best feeling ever. And so I wanted to create something as close to this experience as possible. And that's why I wrote those three songs. And we did this beautiful live session at LA Recordings in Berlin. I might get a little emotional talking about this song um, because it's about a really close friend of mine and we've been friends forever and he is the kind of soul, like the kind of person that never talks badly about anyone. I haven't met anybody else who does that and I so admire that. So he's been struggling a lot with his mental health lately and it's holding him back from achieving and experiencing so many great things. So it inspired me to write this song, to tell his story the way he told it to me and the way it made me feel and he feels, but then also give this kind of outlook that he'll be bulletproof again to whatever is going on around him. <laughs> Feels like you're stuck in the night No one can see that you cry Take one step at a time Keep on walking till it's right You said pray for me I don't know when this is over I said try for me Someday gonna be
I was writing tears at 2 a.m. after a friend called me in the middle of the night and she was crying because she had the biggest fight with her boyfriend. Yeah, so she, she was crying and she was telling me how she doesn't know how to move on from this and if she can move on from this. So I wrote tears at 2 a.m. inspired by this story and it's just this sad love song about being in that in between as the uh, pre-chorus says it um, and not knowing if this relationship will continue or not. Lying on the best home Baby in the streets cold Cold like you Fires are fixing Streetlights are mine When I'm writing a song, I try to be as literal and straightforward with what I'm saying as I can be. And to be honest, when the initial idea sparks, I just write until I don't have any more ideas, really. Um, because for me, it's hard to find back into that kind of first feeling of when the song hit you. Of course, you can craft the song as much as you want afterwards, but I find that the first line you write 
the first emotion you feel when writing the song is the most true and genuine. So I had this conversation with a friend a while back about another relationship that I was struggling in with another friend where I felt being let down many, many times and it hurt a lot for quite a while. But then she said, Jojo, you care a little much about this other person and they obviously don't care as much. So there was the song, um, I Care a Little Much. It doesn't hurt anymore Don't remember what I was crying for What I was crying for You and I, we both know It was the end of the road The end of the road The end of the Should've said no, but made up. 